starting off here, congratulations to everybody getting it to the championship weekend this year. Coach, opening thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, Laverne, wow, like that was a battle. Um, and uh, Coach Hendershot has got that team uh, doing some really special things, and they're super young, and they're going to be really good for a bunch of years to come. And so uh, congrats to them, and uh, I'm sure the future is bright. Uh, so this group, holy, let's go. Um, we talked about it before the match, just manifesting, uh, seeing something with such clarity and such confidence that you know you can make it happen. And it's one thing to see it. Guys, how, how excited are you for, for California in two weeks? So excited. I mean, we always just said, like, no words. But yeah. it's, it's, we've worked so hard for this. And what we've been thinking about um, since we, I don't know, since I've been playing, just in general, like, I feel like everybody dreams go to Elite Eight or just keep going to NCAA tournament. And yeah. here we are. And yeah, but one game at a time, obviously. Anything for you, Sammy? Uh, I, I, just a surreal feeling. And just to be able to play more days with the team that I have is just amazing. Cool. Uh, let's see, Riley, 23 kills tonight. You had five blocks. All, you were all over the all over the court. Um, talk about your communication with, with Abby, with everybody else, with Izzy and, um, and Rick, Callie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like when you, we talk about the like flow state mindset a lot and just being like that flow state. And I think that we practice so much that sometimes you're just in that kind of um, like autopilot and you trust your players so much that I don't know it just all comes together and um, I'm just really lucky to play with the girls I do so mm -hmm. just kind of a two-parter for both or not two-parter but and uh, question for both Riley and Abby what does it mean to, uh, to get past the second round and in past the third round even after last year losing in the mm -hmm. second round yeah, it's such an amazing feeling. It's like, I can't even put it into words. I'm so proud of everything that we've accomplished and the whole squad that we have. Um, and all this past weekend, we've really been focusing on like playing for each other and playing for our seniors just to extend the amount of time we have for them. And I think that really showed tonight. So I'm just really excited to keep it rolling as far as we can go. Exactly what she said. Right. I don't know, just, <laughs> I have no words as well. Like, so it's such a surreal moment. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know what's happening. But um, I don't know, I just think that yeah, we're just really lucky and we work really, really hard. So, mm -hmm. and everybody on the team works really hard and um, literally no words. Just super, <laughs> super <laughs> excited. No words, but lots of words. No words, yeah. but yeah. lots of love and oh, yeah. excitement. <laughs> Sammy, what does it mean to, uh, to go to the championship weekend in your first year in college? Oh, it's crazy. I don't know. It's a crazy feeling. It's never, I don't know. I haven't been so excited like, for anything. Just like honestly, like the team, my teammates, everyone is just so amazing. I can't really put it to words. You guys have been uh, competing with that 2009 team for pretty much everything all season. Um, you guys got a chance to obviously look in a couple games ahead, so this isn't really a question because we're not looking more than a game ahead. But um, you guys have a chance to to do even more and um, compete with that team. What does it mean to be able to? That's a that's a really historic one of the probably the best team that we've had historically here at Oshkosh. What does it mean to be in the same conversation even as that team? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> there's something really special about that 2019. One, get Coach Vera, one of our current coaches, on mm -hmm. the right? And so, um, I think there's like a, a trap to go if we're trying to do something against this historic team and it's a competition, but it's the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Like we feel this camaraderie to that team and so uh, to have like I'm getting emotional right now because these women are amazing our alumni are amazing and so to have that kind of support inside from generation to generation it's um I don't even want to say it's like a friendly competition it's like um, you've got this extra body of support and love that's propelling you to do special things because you know it's been done before and so to feel like you're standing on the shoulders of giants is, is a pretty special thing Almost like the running joke now. You're like, eat it, 2009. Anything from the three of you you'd like to add, or do you think Coach kind of touched on it all? Yeah, got it all. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I just, think. just like, I mean, obviously acknowledging the success that they had and like knowing that they did great things, but just staying present where we are and just focusing on one game at a time um, and just where we're at right now. Awesome. And thinking about doing it for Vera too. Like, here once and just playing for her and um, getting her back.
back in like that space that she once was and she worked so hard for it. So it's super, super special. Cool. I think that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.